Hey, what's up guys and happy Sunday to you all. Good morning. I'm here with my good friends Jay and Melly in the car. Say what's up guys. What's Say up hi. guys. Hi, what's up? <laughs> um, we're getting breakfast right now. It's 9 a.m. And after that, we're going to see it go. We're going to see a matinee film. We're finally going to watch the new Power Rangers movie. Yeah. yeah. That looks amazing on you. <laughs> Go, go, Power Rangers! So we did the smart thing and purchased our tickets all online. That way we beat the crowds because it's only a week after the movie has been out. Today is April 2nd, by the way, and the movie's been out for a week. And we know that it's still going to be busy, so we purchased it online. Our showtime is at 10.30. And those are our seats. We got them, like, towards the back. Back right. And shout outs to Zapatillo. <laughs> Are you excited to see the new movie, Melly? Oh yeah. Who who's your favorite rain your favorite Power Ranger of all time? Which color? Which is your favorite one? Oh, okay. So shout shout outs to Melly. High five. Because she her favorite is the Green Ranger like me. And what about you, Jay? Who's your favorite Power Ranger of all time? My favorite is Michelangelo. <laughs> <laughs> if only that was for the right movie, guys. Michelangelo is from the Ninja Turtles. But still, high five. Having myself a power breakfast this morning. I got the ham and cheese omelet with avocado on top and hash browns and a nice cup of joe on the side. Don't be sharing my business. <laughs> but you get it? We're all having a power breakfast. Power Rangers. Okay, I'll go home. Bye bye. We just made it to the AMC movie theaters in Fullerton. About to see Power Rangers movie. Are you guys excited like I am? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> out of the theater and move far away. And now, hang on to your shell as we find out what's oozing into an AMC near you. Oh my gosh, you guys, so I just got done watching the new Power Rangers movie, and let me tell you, it surpassed all of my expectations. It is so freaking amazing. Like, I kid you not. It's, it's like watching, if you're a kid or like a teenager or something like from the 90s, and you recall the, the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, then you'll recall and you'll understand once you see this, that it's like watching one of those classic episodes, but just in a movie and you're reliving your childhood at least that's how I felt and my friends Jay and Melly they said they liked it too it was awesome so I definitely recommend it and spoiler alert there's gonna be a sequel but you probably already knew that 
Also, by the way, you guys, today I'm wearing all green, as you can see, because I'm repping my favorite Power Ranger of all time, the Green Ranger. So, yeah, more phenomenal. So what did you guys think of the new Power Rangers movie? It was lit. I liked it. You liked it, Melly? Yeah, it's a whole fun. <laughs> what was your highlight and favorite part of the movie? The popcorn. You know, that's not a bad answer. I'll have to agree with Jay on that, too. And on that note, it is now 12.54, and we're going to go antiquing. But before we begin antiquing, we're going to stop right here real quick at the coffee bean to get our coffee slash caffeine fix on like we always do. So that's always a must, right, guys? It so is. <laughs> And I got the new caramel coconut ice blended. Mm. That sip just doesn't do it justice. It is so good. I recommend you guys try this too. Caramel coconut ice blended. Shout out to Coffee Bean. And what did you guys get? I got black cherry. It's so delicious. AKA Black Forest ice blended. And Bentley got the same. You like it? <laughs> and shout out to my movie stub ticket for the Power Rangers. Go check out that movie, guys. You won't be disappointed. So we have now arrived at our destination in the city of Orange. About to do some antiquing at the Orange Circle, is it called? Mm -hmm. At the Orange Circle. Check it out. Everywhere you look to the left and right, there's an antique store. There's one right there, one right there, one down there, one over there. And this is not even half of it. There's a lot more. That's why it's called the Orange Circle. We're like, if you've been here before, you guys know what we're talking about. But this is where you primarily enter, one of the ways, I think. And then it's a huge-ass circle and antiques left and right. So antique thrifters like ourselves that love to go antiquing, this is like a ball. We're like kids in candy stores right now. <laughs> What's up, girl? Yeah. Nothing to see here. In twenty ninety nine, I want to look like this. Goals. Is there anybody else out there, like I'm talking to you guys, the ones that are behind your phone and behind your computer or behind your laptop right now, any of you guys who also enjoy antiquing like I do and Jay and Melly does, is there anybody else out there or are we the only ones? Because a lot of my vlogs are Sunday fun days where I go antiquing. So comment down below and make me feel better, to make me feel like I'm not crazy and that, no, antiquing is a cool, good thing. Hello. Hi. I'm just chilling here with my dog and my horse. That's a spinning ceiling fan. And that's a, yeah, I don't know what that is. Can you tell me what you are? Where are you? Hey, go belly, go belly, go belly, hey. Allen Iverson 76ers basketball jersey. It's a size medium, but I could wear this like a fitted look. This is pretty dope. 
And shout outs to one of the greatest of all time to ever do it. Of course, you know, Allen Iverson. How sick is this? I might buy it. Let's see how much it is. It is how much? How much do they want for it? Twenty nine dollars. I don't know. I think I think if maybe this was a large then I would, but I think medium for me would be a little too tight, so even though it's sick and it's really nice, I'm gonna have to pass on it. It's such a beautiful day today, by the way, you guys. And it's almost Easter. Uh, when's Easter? Um, I think April 16th this year? No, this year isn't it April 16th, Sunday? Yeah, anyway, my question to you guys is what are you guys doing for Easter? I'm gonna be in Colton Riverside. So, that's where you can catch me. Catch me outside, how about that? When I first saw this, I thought this was Rita Repulsa from the new Power Rangers movie. But it's not. Is it too late to say April Fools? Okay, that was an epic fail. Whatever happened to Baby Jane? Baby Jane Hudson? I found her. She's right here. It is now 2.20 in the afternoon and I have not found anything worthy enough to purchase from any of these antique stores. One of the cutest bears I've ever seen. Okay you guys, this right here is the most <laughs> evil looking Easter bunny I've ever seen. Check out how evil this looks. Alright you guys, so it is now 2.30 in the afternoon on this fine Sunday fun day, as you can see. Outside wise, it's very gorgeous and beautiful, as you guys can see watching this video. But Meli, isn't it so freaking hot in all inside all of these antique stores? Isn't it hot? Yeah. How, how do you feel when you're walking around very, in, inside very, of it? Very, very hot. Yeah, they they don't even have they don't even have fans on. I don't think all the fans that we see that are displayed, they're all off, and none of them are on, and nor AC is running in all of the antique stores. And we've already been into like like what five? We've we've seen five so far, yeah. and we're gonna see mucho más. It's terrible. It's terrible. Yeah. Very hot. But other than that, we like antique stores, right? And yeah. we like antiquing. Yeah. 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 So give me five. This is a super quick Q and A with my friend Jay because you, you just got done hearing what Melian had to say but I'm going to ask him now. Jay, walking inside all of these antique stores and so far we've done five and counting would you agree or not agree that it is so hot as fuck in there? It is hell in there. I cannot believe it. It is ludicrous. See, you heard it here first. It's hella stuffy and we're already in April and it's a shame that they don't even have fans running. The fans that are displayed are not even on, right? Yeah. But other than that, we're having a fun day, right guys? Yeah. Next Sunday I'm going to see this show. <laughs> this guy right here needs to poop. Oh, you thought me? No, I meant this guy. Hashtag blessed. Never forget where you came from, guys. Shoutouts to the one and only Drizzy Drake one time, who started on Degrassi. He started from the bottom and now he's on top of the world with the rap game. Shoutouts Drizzy Drake. Hashtag more life.
Who's bad? R.I.P. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. I finally found a vintage Ninja Turtle action figure, but it's six bucks. The price is not an issue, but the thing is I already have two. I have doubles of this uh, 1990 Michelangelo Mikey action figure, like a surfing Michelangelo. So, I'm going to have to pass. I'm glad to see that I found something, though, of interest for me, to say the least. Hold up, guys. There is a god, because inside this glass case display, I found a mighty Morphin Power Ranger. Can you guys see him right there? That's the Red Ranger. And it's 20% off, which is cool. I'm sold. I'm definitely going to buy it. So it is now 421 in the afternoon, and we're pretty much done with antiquing for today. We're kind of pooped, as you can see, Jay. And Manly's just like, whatever. Um, but I was able to make two purchases after all. I got lucky and found. I'll show you guys. I found something, and then Jay found something for me because he knows what I like. So, right here is my purchases. In the bag, we got two goodies. The first one that I got is this vintage Power Rangers stuffed animal, the Red Ranger. And it's so cool because. We just watched the Power Rangers movie, the new one, earlier today. And it makes sense that I found something like this re regarding the Power Rangers. This one was, um, I got the receipt. It was on sale, it was 20% off. It was, let's see, like basically $10. The original price was $12 for it, but I paid like 10 something. And the second item that he found for me, shout outs to Jay. Oh, hi. <laughs> is I'll let him show it to you guys. This is what he found for me. And I said, add it to it. I don't care what the price is. I'm going to get it. So what happened was I So, in the meantime, so... Fix his legs, though. <laughs> so check this out, guys. And this is what he found for me. Dun, dun, dun. Isn't this so cool? Donatello from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And turning him around for me. See? Unfortunately, this one wasn't on sale and he's missing his bow staff accessories, but I don't care because everything else is still intact and he looks awesome and great. And he's going to go on my display. So this one was $20. So in total for both items, I spent right here, you guys. Thirty-one eighty-nine. So, yeah. And then, what did you buy? None of their beeswax. <laughs> but there's a sneak peek. That's what he bought. Melly, did you buy anything? No. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're just here at this um, pub restaurant, Haven Gastro Pub, right there. About to have ourselves like a late lunch. This figure right here that I have in my hand is from the year 2006. So we'll just get a close up on that from head to toe. Okay. And this Red Ranger right here is from 1993. <laughs> 
check out our bougie, fancy garlic herb fries that we got with a little side of ketchup. So bomb. Hi huh, guys. It's good, huh, Melly? And we also ordered wings. We're being fatties today. This is some next level type stuff. Look how fancy these wings look. The presentation is just killing it. Now these right here are some dope kicks, bro. Check out these dope vintage Nikes. Size 10 for only 35 bucks. If only if it was my size. This is just two sizes too big for me. I'm size 8.5 slash 9. But damn, they're super sick and very reasonable. Set out a low price. Practically new. <laughs> beep beep. I'm definitely going to buy this. Super sick. LeBron James is a beast. But it seems like I found this just in the nick of time. A LeBron James rookie debut McFarlane action figure for only $13.99. So sick. And here were the other, this is NBA Series 5, and here were the other 8 that were shown of the 9. Chris Webber, of course LeBron James, uh, Stephon Marbury, Ben Wallace, Yao Ming, Steve Nash, Sharif Abdul-Rahim, Ray Allen, and Tracy McGrady. And it says right here, McFarlane Sports Picks. Fifth series of NBA action figures features nine of the hottest players in the league, including fan favorites Ben Wallace, Chris Webber, and Yao Ming. High school to pro phenom LeBron James. See, it says it right there. And re sculpts of Ray Allen and Tracy McGrady. So. My last purchase of this Sunday Funday antiquing. Alright you guys, so it is now 5.52 in the afternoon and we are now leaving uh, the city of Orange from antiquing for the day. And I would say it was a successful antique Sunday Funday, don't you guys agree? Today was amazing. <laughs> he made some great purchases, so did I. Uh, the last one that I came up on was that LeBron James rookie action figure. And it was 10% off. I got it for, um, I paid $13.59 instead of paying $13.99 plus tax. So that was great. So I got three purchases, the Power Rangers stuffed animal, the Donatello Ninja Turtles action figure, and then the LeBron James figure. And Melly, did you have fun too today? Yeah. You had a good time? Yeah. 
<laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna call it now and head home. But uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Um, please like this video if you enjoyed it. Even if you didn't enjoy it, please like it anyway. It would do me a huge favor. And yeah, and also subscribe. Just one last thing before I let you go. Comment down below who is your favorite Power Ranger of all time. And I promise you that I'll like your comment. Or just in general, comment me anything down below. Whether it be something nice that you're going to say about this video or something that's not nice and you dislike it. Tell me something mean, tell me something nice, comment down below who's your favorite Power Ranger of all time. Regardless what it is, I promise I'm going to start this new trend thing where I start liking everybody's comments who comments down below on my videos. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I, sometimes Jay and sometimes Melly, will see you guys next time. Peace out. Everyone say bye. Bye.